Good morning and welcome. Jamaica, I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a pour today on this 40 by 50 canvas. I'm going to have a, a series of trying different um, compositions on my canvas. Always fun to have a go and create a different, you know, just something a little bit different. So, 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 as she says, I'm going to start with, this was white. I actually put a, um, a big chunk of the ultra metallic prism pour gold, which is honey gold, golden honey, just to send it a nice off white instead of, you know, plain old, plain old white. So that's what I'm starting with at the minute. So let's get to it. I've got my camera on a different angle today, just trying something different again, <laughs> as you do, seeing how I go with my camera on a different angle. So if you're a regular viewer of mine, please let me know how you find this particular camera angle. Is it better than I normally do? Is it not as visible? Just give me feedback would really help me to um, see if I need to do this in future or go back to how I was. Just a completely different angle. So my composition for this one is gonna be down here where I'm gonna have all my color. So it's kind of a deep V, but I'm just going to layer this color on all over my canvas. Um, to give it a, a nice slippy slidey base coat, I guess, just for the other colours to slide over nicely. So, yeah, it's sort of, um, you can see because it's got that ultra metallic in there, it is glistening. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but it's very glisteningy. Is that a word, glisteningy? Now I'm going to try. I think I might need a little bit more paint to do this because I have to blow myself the background for my before my next um, piece. So I'm going to do this. This is um, it was the dark green or green deep. I'm not sure if that was already colour in the bottle or if I added that. I've had this paint mixed a long time in this air type container so really I'm going to see aren't I if it works. So I'm going to kind of do this effect. I want to blow these greens around. I guess that's probably too much, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Rightio. I'm going to just give a whiz over with my heat wand. Now a heat wand is different than a hair dryer. This doesn't blow the paint. It just adds heat to it and helps me burst some air bubbles. Rightio. I might even put a drizzle of, this is the metallic, uh, that ultra metallic gold. So maybe if I just put a drizzle of this, this is for a background, remember, that I'm trying to create. I mean, what I have in my head might turn out completely different. I might have to go in a different direction if it doesn't work. So now I get my baby bailus. That's what this hair dryer is called. You'll find um, my materials in the drop down box in my Amazon store, but I cannot find this baby bailus. So if you have any luck, let me know because I would buy it several times again. <laughs> Radio, let's do this. Ooh, 
beautiful so that's my background for this particular piece and keeping this composition now I want to put all my color here so pretty happy with that but I'm now gonna go my berry delicious I might put a fair bit of this gold in here it's gone a little bit thick so I guess I could add a little bit of water to this but we'll see how it goes just nice to try different compositions and see how they work and do different styles Radio. I'm gonna add some this is uh, the ultraviolet it's a beautiful color too it does come out nice there's little um, cardboard cups you can create a little lip there for yourself so I'm going to kind of wiggle it over get all my color everywhere oh that gold and that ultraviolet is pretty nice Right here, I'm going to put some deep red or cool red, I think it's called, in there. Just take your time, enjoy the process, that's what it's all about. Remember, the only rule is there's no rules. Your art room, your rules, your way. beautiful 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 now i'm going to put some of my berry delicious which is the very dark red add phalo blue and a blob of black so it's kind of like a black cherry aubergine or whatever look it is really nice and rich looking in a painting anyway beautiful really going to pop your socks off this is the fluoro orange it's global's fluoro orange in here it's a pop your socks off color this one some of my actually I might tilt it first just to get some of the colors to run over I don't want to lose this lovely background I have but I do want to get those colors to run over each other so it fills in all the gaps but it doesn't really um, go muddy because you're just sliding them over each other Oh, I just don't want to lose my I can always give it another blowout I guess Ooh, I'm kind of losing my nice top but I'll try something else with that in a minute See, it's just let them slide over let the colors slide over one another keep covering the whole of your canvas and the sides I guess I could have put the colors down first and then my do my blowout I guess that's a way but we'll try it this way see how we go I might blow those greens out again a bit a bit further I want to keep that kind of composition where I've got the V going in rightio that has lost that lovely shape there but um, I'm hoping that I can get that sort of shape to um, come back in it 
in it, in it. I might give the dryer again another blow of these greens. Let me put this is um, my uh, I think it's the ultraviolet purple with Floetrol only. So I'm hoping to get a few cells or laciness blown out in that. So let's give it a go. Okay, I want to get that green moving. I hope I don't wreck it. A little blow from here, let me try it. Ooh, that's pretty, very pretty. So it's going to be like a summer garden. So I've got the wispy green, hopefully. I'm going to just use my choppy sticky to put a few little wisps out and about just adds a bit of movement to the whole thing just wipe your tool off in between I guess it just stops it sort of getting muddy that's gorgeous right here I'm gonna dry it off a bit or that gold is so nice in there more next thing that I want to do is one of the favorites that I love doing and of course it's my balloon art magic So every um, technique you can do different, whether you do a swipe or a pour or a dirty pour or a reflection, you can always add a balloon to any of them. Oh my goodness, look at that. Should I put a little bit of balloon in, in the green? Huh, it doesn't even... If I had another canvas here, that would transfer onto another canvas just beautifully. Look at that not really coming out in there but that's all right it's just beautiful as it is this is going to bring the whole thing to life now so there's several oh that's so nice isn't it several different techniques in there it's got a chaos blow on your paw and it's got a um, swipe not a swipe what do we call it uh, well that's a chaos blow well, that was a chaos blow now it's got a balloon kiss kiss and dip wow 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 now lots of people write to me about their balloon kisses oh it's not the same as yours I can't get it the thing is it is trial and error sometimes you might get it straight away because it's all to do really with the consistency of your paint um, a good idea for a beginner is to walk away and leave your paint to dry off a little maybe 20 minutes before you come back and give it your balloon kissing that often works very well and try keeping your paints on the thicker side rather than very thin and runny because um, it seems to work better for your kisses. Super happy with those with my big balloon. I'm going to just see if it's at the right consistency to give it a little going over with. It's just an ordinary size balloon, but I put a little bit of water in it. Adds a little bit of weight. That's only like that in my small balloon. I don't add water to the big balloon. It can end up very messy. So. I like to go over with the smaller balloon inside those bigger balloon kisses it adds more definition to look like 
flowers definitely does look something floral even if it's a jilly floral there's nothing <laughs> out there quite the same and you can when these pieces are dry go over and put definition to your leaves with an acrylic pen if you so wish to so many options that's gorgeous as it is even with the colors i think i should leave them like that because that's really rich i think i could do if the paint dried off a little just put these in see it's not that white is too um wet at the moment but when it dries off i could come back in and add some color from the kisses in there just to bring it all together but the white is definitely too um wet at the moment yet yeah, it's just it's not doing it so i may very well come in just to give a few little so there looks like some butterflies or fireflies in there i'm going to bring you down to have a look at this see what you think and um it is beautiful it's so bright and uplifting and definitely like a flower garden with the green being the foliage in the background I will bring you on down so here is this gorgeous very delicious garden of mine it is just stunning the colors look absolutely fantabulous together not too many cells but quite a lot of nice lacing which is often nice and these balloon kisses have just turned out lovely so like i said when this dries you could go over with an acrylic pen and define those you know the um, detail in in what looks like a flower so beautiful like I said, I can, I probably, I don't know whether I'll do that with this one, but leave it to dry off and add some of that very delicious um, with the balloon in the green, just to bring it in so it looks like some butterflies in there. We will see. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got um, some other plans for some other different compositions of, on my canvas. So. Please join me and take care, my lovelies. Uh, if you're feeling sad, lonely, upset, please don't suffer in silence. Ring a family member or a friend, or if not, a helpline. There is help there for you. Okie doke. Until tomorrow, take care. Bye for now. Because all I want is to get some shut eye, but the thought of you. Keeping me away